Okay. <laughs> I thought I would come on here and tell y'all about our first spray tan experience. Of course, Matt sprayed me for the first time. He's never done anything like that, so it's no fault to his own that it kind of turned into an epic fail a little bit. Um, <laughs> so my face looks pretty good. Uh, my neck's kind of speckly, and I have not taken a shower yet. They recommend you take a shower afterwards. You know, <laughs> there's Jonah. You take a shower afterwards, and it gets off a good bit of it, so you don't look as whoo in your face. So, I haven't done that yet, so that's why it's still kind of bam in your face. But, the pro my front looked really good, and my back looks really good. He got that really well. No streaks, no... <laughs> <laughs> no streaks, nothing of that sort. But the problem is I forgot at the last minute to put barrier cream or Vaseline on my hands. And I do have the, I had the petroleum jelly sitting right there. And last night after I did it, I didn't think it was a big deal. I was like, oh, I forgot that, but it's probably not a big deal. Well, if you don't know, spray tan gets a lot darker 8 to 10 12 hours later so yeah that's where i'm at now so i think i'll show y'all the epic fail points on my body so here's the f here's the first epic fail you see how it's right here on my wrist and it got right here none of this showed up last night so i should have applied petroleum jelly or barrier cream whatever you use on my palms right here and then the hall and then my up here and i told him not to do my hands but if you've ever gotten a spray tan you know that it even if you stop it still gets a little bit of a layer but i think he sprayed me right down through here by accident it's a learning process i am not mad at him i'm not mad about it i i'm a really go with the flow person so i'm not mad at him at all we i knew it was going to be a fail the first time because we both have to learn how to do it and what to do and the process to go through so i'm not mad but and this part right here is white all the way down through there and then right here we have like a bleed mark and then this side got pretty well covered this will probably turn a nice color of tan once i shower but it's still going to look a hot mess right here for right now but i'm not mad i'm really not mad about it and then this hand and then I have like a dark spot here. <laughs> and then my palm. Yeah. So that's. And then my legs are problems. Obviously I cannot lift my leg up here. But those are problem spots too. But my belly and my back and my face actually turned out pretty well. So I think that if he got those spots pretty well. And the only problems were with my arms and my legs. I think it turned out pretty good. But it's still safe to say that it turned out to be an epic fail. Because it was more than just like one little spot or <laughs> one little area but i am not mad at it i i'm cool with it i mean i'm not going anywhere <laughs> and it was his first time spraying me it was both of our first time doing anything like this so it's no fault to him or to me because we have to learn to do it right i mean he First time he did my hair, he messed that completely up. But y'all see that he does hair really good now. So I have faith in him that he's going to become a spray tanning professional. Well, not professional, but, you know, professional grade eventually. It's going to take a few times for us to really get it get it right. So, I mean, we just bought the thing for me and he, for not for him, really. I mean, I said I would use his, him as a guinea pig, but... We got it to spray me, so that's what we got it for. It's not like we're going into business or anything. So, if it was an epic fail, it was just an epic fail on me, on my body. And I'm a go-with-the-flow person, and it doesn't bother me in the least little bit. I'm going to go in here and take a shower, and most of it will come off, and I'm cool with that. So, I will check back in with y'all after I've washed my body and kind of exfoliated a little bit and show y'all what it looks like after that. Okay, so I thought I would update y'all on the spray tanning epic, epic fail after I took a shower. So it took a little bit of the color off my face and some of off my chest and made it like an even more natural looking color, I guess. 
but <laughs> the worst and I didn't even need the color to be gone from those spots I just needed it to be gone from these spots <laughs> but it did not really fade from these spots as you can see here's my natural fair skin color and then here is where yeah this is a spot that was missed this was a spot that was gotten that shouldn't have been gotten yeah and we still have this but as much as i wash my hands this will fade a fair amount in the next few days but it still looks really funny right now and then my little fingers it still looks really funny but yeah if this is the worst part of it then i think we'll be able to do pretty well the next time because we know what to do but i just thought it was really fun and i sent him i sent matt pictures of it and he felt horrible he was like i'm so sorry i'm like well you weren't gonna be a professional spray tan artist or whatever so i wasn't i wasn't expecting that i was expecting it to be pretty bad and there are some pretty bad spots so it's no big deal it's gonna fade away and it'll be fine and we'll just try it again and i'm sure it'll get better and better and better as he does it so i'm not worried about it but i just thought it was hilarious and i took a couple pictures and shared them on social media and people's reactions were pretty funny and no shame in my game if i mess something up i'm gonna show it so i just you gotta find humor and stuff like that i'm not the type of person to freak out about if my hair color is wrong or if my if the spray tan turns out weird or i'm i'm the kind of person that just goes with the flow hair will grow back the color will fade spray tan will fade it'll go away and you can just try again so i'm kind of go with the flow and just um not i'm not upset about it at all i'm fine there's no way i would freak out on him over something i knew was gonna be an epic fail the first time because i mean even the best of the best at things have their first try at something and have to get better at it so we'll just get better and i'm sure the next time we'll probably try again next week after this is probably faded away for the most part we'll try again and hopefully the results come out a little bit better but if it's i don't think it could be worse <laughs> so hopefully the results come out better and everybody will be satisfied because i'm satisfied i don't it's not bothering me but i know he's a perfectionist and he wants to be satisfied with what he does so there's always try try again right 